Okay, so let's think about this very intuitively. First of all, let's go back home for a second. Now, if you don't want the back button to go back home, if you come out of live view, of course, that takes you back to your page. Now, let's understand where we want to put our stuff. Now, a couple choices here. We're working in design mode. I want to keep you away from the code as much as possible. It's not necessary to go to the code. One of the things can be a little overwhelming is all these subheader tags like jQuery header tag, jQuery list view. This is just telling you the type of tag that this is. Now, if you don't want to see that, you can just hit the eyeball right here and you can hide those different elements. In this particular case, if you want to hide everything, I can just hit command shift I. Control shift I for Windows and it hides that. Now, you'll get used to that, but I don't mind seeing it. I'm going to turn this back on for a second. Now, where do we want to put this home button? Well, more than likely, we probably want to put it someplace on this page. Now, the home button obviously doesn't need to go on the home page. It needs to go on the about page, and it needs to go on the products page, and it needs to go on the service page. Now, even though I double clicked the word content, it didn't delete the content. But what we can do is basically make this a header one tag. So command one makes it a header one tag, you know. So we can call this my double click paste content, my about content. Okay, header one, command one. Now I talked to this, I talked about this in another video. But the first tag of any div tag, the first header tag should be an H1 tag for search engine purposes. That's just going to help you. Okay. My products content. My service. Oh, content. Content. Contact. Make a change. Save a change. So let's put a back button here. Now, here's what's really cool about Dreamweaver for J Mobile. Notice I have these different panels up here, these different tabs. One of the tabs I have in CS5 and CS5.5, and now CS6 is the jQuery Mobile device. These are all the icons needed. Now, we'll do this in another video, but we're going to build a jQuery Mobile page totally from scratch. Keep in mind, this is jQuery Mobile using a starter page kind of gets you started with understanding how the whole system works. All right, so we're going to put our cursor right here. And if I click this icon right here, it says jQuery mobile button. Well, what do you think that does? Well, let's click on that and find out. Well, we simply want to make one button as opposed to two, three, four, or five. And this is going to be a link. Now, again, for those of you that are totally new to this, this is nothing more than a dialog box. Dialogue boxes are your friends. So if you're brand new to this, hopefully you can read English. If this is in Portuguese or Mandarin, I'd have a bit of a problem because I don't speak, well, actually I know a little bit of Mandarin, ni hao, and a few other words. Portuguese, I actually know a little bit of Portuguese, oi to the ban. See, you learn something. So based on these choices, I want to make this one button link and I want this to be a home button. So based on these choices, we're going to click home. And I don't want to see text. I just want to see the icon. Icon position is going to be to the left. And I don't want to have text. So I'm just going to say the home button in this particular case, it's, it's either or, it's not in addition to. We're just going to make this no text. I don't want it to say home. I just want to have the icon here, right? And I'm going to hit OK. And it's going to put this big, piece of text called button. We're just going to hit the space bar. Now, what does this button do? Right now, the button is doing nothing as in not a nil. What do we want the button to do? Well, we want this to go to an anchor. Now, important step, we haven't talked about this before. This pound symbol is just a placeholder for an anchor for a hyperlink, a tag. But in this particular case, we want to go to this div tag. What's the name of this div tag? Well, the first div tag here is simply called page. So when I click on this hyperlink called button, we want to go to pound symbol page, exactly how it's spelled here. 
lowercase p a g. Now, the pound symbol is important. That's known as anchor tag. Anchor tag is going to basically trigger the hyperlink. It's going to behave like a hyperlink, and it's going to go to the div tag called page. Now, how does it know to do that? Because the JavaScript has been programmed to tell it to do that. Okay, I'm going to take this tag, copy the tag, so I'm going to select the tag, copy it, go down to the product section, and simply paste. Hit the space bar, copy, paste. Simple, simple, simple. Okay, go down to services, and um, I should, you know what, I made a mistake before, didn't I? I was supposed to put, I was supposed to put service down here. So let's fix that. That's the service part of the page. My mistake on that in the previous video. <coughs> Excuse me, command one, and we're gonna call that service content. Or more specifically, my service content. Double click, arrow key to the right, paste, space. Make a change, save a change. So what did that do for us? Well, this is just a piece of text that we inserted on our jQuery mobile. We clicked right here and it said, jQuery mobile button, it brought up these choices and we basically picked choices. All right, so how does that help us? Well, if I save the changes and I go to live view and I go to the about page, I now have a home button. If I click the home button, boom, it goes back home. If I click products, I have a home button. Boom, it goes back home. If I click service, I have a home button. Boom, it goes back home because that's the home button. How do I know that? Because it looks like a home. <laughs> it's really that simple. All right, we'll continue building this and customizing this in our next video.